So I have two simple ways that can help you find your right stirrup length. The first one is on the ground, the other two are under saddle. So the first one, what you need to do is you need to lift up your seat jockey and find where your stirrup leathers meet your saddle tree. You'll find a metal bar, okay? So mine's about right there. So I'm gonna take my fingertips, outstretch my arm, take the stirrup, lay it against my armpit, and make sure that the stirrup leather and stirrup is flat against my arm, like that. So that's about the correct length for me. If it goes past your armpit or before your armpit, then you're gonna have to adjust that. So the other two are under saddle, so let me get on. So while I'm up on the horse, there's two more ways that can help me find the right stirrup length for myself. First one is I'm gonna stand up in the saddle, I'm gonna stand up straight, make a fist, and I want a fist breadth between my, the saddle seat and my, and my seat. So I don't want any room in between the saddle seat and my seat, okay? The other way that can help me find the right stirrup length, I'm gonna kick my stirrups out, relax my legs, let them lay, lay long, and I want the bottom of the stirrups to hit my ankle bone. It can be a little bit above it, but I want it about equal with my ankle bone. So those are just three simple ways that can help you find your stirrup length, your right stirrup length. It's not an exact science. There's a lot of factors to determine, uh, you know, discipline, your comfort level, the saddle. So those are just a few simple ways to kind of just give you a general idea. So I hope that helped. And until next time, Sassy and I, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.